have this fight? Who will save this land? Who will save this land from the shame? War, 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 drum of war is on in every This fight, who will save this land? Who will save this land from the shame? War, 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 drum of war is on in every Anyang, God of the Sun, when a mortal makes a vow and redeems them, even when the gods have fulfilled their part, such a mortal is regarded in high esteem. Royalty has honored you. I ask you to bestow nobility on her and make this child of hers to live. Uche, what are you looking for in this place? His Majesty requested that you come back with us immediately. I am not done hunting. My Prince, he specifically instructed that we should not return without you. X will lose our heads. Did anything happen in the palace? None that I know of, my Prince. His Majesty should realize that I am an adult. Mm -hmm. Monitoring and checkmating the movement of an adult in this manner is not right. How many times do I have to warn you never to leave this palace without guards? Father, I am an adult. Besides, they can't be running around with me in the forest while I hunt. That is their duty. Talking about hunting, you are a prince and not a lousy hunter. You should concern yourself with palace matters and not running around the bush like one commoner. Father, all mortals are common before the gods. Allow me to do what gives me joy. How do you expect me to keep quiet? When you are trading with your life and destiny, don't you hear about or see the invasion of our land by Duracha warriors? How long will we continue running away? How long will your subjects keep living in constant fear? What do you expect from me, son? Declare war? Even victors in war don't totally recover from its havoc. I do not advocate for the kind of war you so dread. I can handle Duracha. No, seriously, I can't wait to have you as my queen. I mean the queen of Ikorgo Kingdom. Yes. Um. But whenever you talk like this, you're really getting me confused. <laughs> How can I possibly be the queen of Ikorgo Kingdom? Okay. 
king already has an heir to the throne. What are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, I need you to wait and see. Wait until it manifests. All I need you to do now is to get your mind prepared. Soon, it will happen. My prince, my hero, my warlord. We promised ourselves that we're not going to keep secrets from each other. And this is what lovers do. Can you open up to me? Like, can you tell me what is really going on? Listen, slow down. I am not hiding anything from you. I mean, if I wanted to hide something from you, I won't bring the topic in the first place. But for now, it's still a secret between the elders and I. Aku, what is going on? Can you talk to me now? You're really getting me confused. Okay, fine. Do not be confused. I'll tell you. Come. You see. Your Highness. What happened to him? Your Highness. He narrowly escaped it from the hands of Duracha warriors. These Duracha people are driving further than expected. Very soon they will get what they are looking for. Uche, where is the prince? My king, he left the palace some minutes ago. Again? Go and fetch Agu the warlord for me. Yes, my king. Yes. Chiredu. Yes, your majesty. Go and look for the prince. Tell him to come with you immediately. Yes, your majesty. Young man. Your highness. Quickly take him to the medicine man at Ahera. Tell him to commence treatment immediately. As the king pleases. Are you sure about what you just said? Like, what you just told me now? I am very sure. Why do you think he does not want to declare for war? Because he knows the tradition. What has that got to do with him not declaring for war? Honestly, I feel he's trying to protect the land from major havoc. What do you think? You know, the tradition states that whoever leads the community to victory becomes the heir apparent. He knows that. And he also knows that the prince knows nothing about warfare. Mm -hmm. Now the picture is getting clearer. Exactly. Yes. Um, do you think the elders will be in support of you. Elders? Of course. As a matter of fact, they brought me into it. Because they are angry. They are angry that our people have been haunted and nothing has been done. Listen, don't worry. I will shock him. He will be shocked. Ochaya, His Majesty requests that you come with me immediately. His Majesty, I hope there is no problem. It has to do with the invasion of the land by Durocha warriors. What about it? It appears His Majesty wants to declare war. My love, duty calls. Let's go. Why are you holding it there? What is chasing after both of them? Hey, no, no, no. The warriors of the Ocha Kingdom are defending the land. Eh? Hey. The warriors of the Ocha Kingdom? No, no. And where exactly did you see them so that I can go and inform them in the palace? We saw them attacking Mazuwa. Some of the warriors are on their way. Come here. Yes, no, no. Yes. Um, when you get home, eh, tell your sister to come and see me in my house. There is something important I want to discuss with her. You said that they are still there. Yes, no, no. Let me go back and inform the Igwe. Hey! Please. 
What is the matter again? His Majesty asked that you come with me. Again? I thought we sorted this out earlier on. My Prince, this is a different issue. The Duracha warriors attacked a man who was brought into the King's palace today, battered. Just as I left the palace? Yes, my Prince. My love, I have to go. It is urgent. I know, but my Prince, please be careful. I cannot survive hearing that something bad has happened to you. It is you that I am worried about. No mortar can harm me. Do not go far from the house. Let's go. Agumero Boya. Majesty, you have to organize your boys. You all will gather here tomorrow morning. The assault and insult of Durocha has reached its peak. We shall show them what the gods do with foul feathers. Your Majesty, this is exactly what I've been expecting from you. Thanks to the gods that you have risen to the needs of the people at this time. Ago. I was bidding my time because of the aftermath of war. It's not that I don't feel what everyone says, but I have had it up to the brim. Go and mobilize your warriors. May your days be long, my king. So you said you saw them attacking Mazuwa? Yeah. But as we are running back, we saw some armed warriors going after them. Hmm. Hmm. This is really getting serious. What are we going to do now? We are doing to do We saw Ono on his way going to the palace about the same issue. Hmm. Uh -huh. Now I remember, sister. Ono said you should come to his house this evening. That he has something very important to tell you. I've heard. But sister, what's this very important thing that you know always calls you to discuss with you? Are you stupid? What kind of stupid question is that? Who gave you the permission to poke nose into my affair? Are you mad? Do you know what it takes to put food on the table for you to eat? Don't you ever, ever in your life Open that mouth to talk to me again. Do you understand? No, sister. I'm not saying anything wrong, bro. Go and that old man to spoil a relationship with our girl. Let's do something. Hey. Your Majesty. Hello. Finally, you took that crucial decision. Huh? Now, we can see that the problem is totally solved. <laughs> Oh no, I really do not know why an elder like you failed to understand that going to war is not the best option. You have seen wars and you know how warring community ends. Um, Your Majesty, we know very well that people will die as a result of war. Yes. But must we sit and wait for the Roger warriors to continue to be plunking us like fruits? Well, I have given my consent for war. I sent for you because I want you to mobilize the town crier to announce to all on Sunday. Um, but, Your Majesty, that wouldn't be necessary. Everybody knows this war will eventually happen. As I speak, some of our warriors have mobilized themselves. They are already after those Duracha warriors. What? Without my consent? Don't take it like that. Eh? It's not that we are neglecting your position or your authority. 
this effort made our warriors to rescue Mazu. And they will rescue many more. Your Majesty, drastic problems sometimes requires drastic solution. Give a word of a moment. No. These warriors should be careful not to ignite fire that will be difficult to stop. you? Oh, have the two Rocha warriors entered into our community? With the Rocha warriors? Is not your friend. My friend? Oh, your sister. What happened? What did you do? I know this your mouth will always put you into trouble. Ngwa, start talking. I not do anything to her. She's just looking for a way to stab me. I did not do anything to her. She's looking for a way to stab me. You are very lucky you met me at the perfect time. I'm actually cooking and it will soon be done. You will just join me. But Egundu, you have to tell me the truth. Because I don't trust you at all. Is your father around? Why are you asking? Why? There's something I want to tell you. What is it? Are you surprised? Since that man's wife died, he has been moving around from one place to another, looking for one maiden to tell something important every time, especially Stukuchi. Egondu. Say what you know. Your sister is wiser than you think, oh. I am sure that is why she chased you. Ekureku. I tried asking her and she flamed off. He always sends me to call her every time. But did I do anything wrong? You are still asking. Shift. Carry it to the kitchen. Carry it! Hey! Ugochi! Uh, you are here already. Oh no, I am not here for jobs. I have come to express how disappointed I am in you. What is it? Like, what is wrong with you? Right now, you are giving my younger sister the impression that I have something immoral to do with you. Why? Uguchi, did you say disappointed? What's your concern about how your sister feels? Are you not old enough to get married? Can't I marry you? Okay. That's what you want, right? Yes. So that the whole village will say I killed your wife. Oh no, it is barely six months you buried your wife. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. And then? She died six months ago. Did you kill her? You are not the person that killed her. The answer is completely no. You didn't kill her. So what others feel about you should not be your concern. Rather, it's how I feel about you. You know very well that I love you. And I have done enough to prove this love to you. Eh, okay. Gucci? Now this is about what you have done for me. In fact, oh no. All your things, just keep all of them. Eh? Yes, I don't want again. Keep everything. I don't want any. Don't even bring anything to me again. You heard me. You are practically knocking on the door of hunger, Uguchi. By the time I ascend that through as the king, the next king of Ekogo, don't come begging. Um, I don't understand. What did you just say? You had me well. Um, uh, Uguchi, hunger is a disease. Come with me so that you can eat. Stay, and you will remain hungry. <laughs> If it is about your request to go to war with other warriors, it is impossible. Could you allow me to rest peacefully? I am faced with enough troubles already. Don't add to my sorrow. Father, you have no sorrows except the one you brought on yourself. And what is the meaning of that? The meaning is that you have to explain to me why you don't want me to ride over your enemies and elevate your sorrows and pains. 
that is because I bonded myself with an oath to your mother on her deathbed that I will never let anything happen to you. Do you know what killed your mother? I do not know, Father. But maybe you should tell me. Son, I was never born into royalty. There was no king in Ekogo Kingdom because we are predominantly warriors and farmers. I was just a simple man with a lovely and awesome wife. My friends, <laughs> hey, Ngo, hey, look at your tummy. <laughs> it's shooting as expected. All thanks to the gods. Mm. <laughs> what were you expecting? That her tummy should be like yours. Look, Adora, we are not like you. At least we are married, and the God has blessed us with the fruits of the womb, unlike some people. Yes, so my sister, we're not the same with those who cannot carry a child of their own. My friends. We can't be pregnant at the same time. See, I believe at the right time, God of the Son will bless me with children. He will give me my own children. Yes, I know. Please, let me hear what. Of all the gods we worship in Ikago, you chose the impotent and inactive God of the Son. Look how hopeless your case has become. Ten years after marriage, you have nothing to show for it. They were a disgraced womanhood and indeed our friendship. Yes, so. Because. Wow. What is the matter? Tell me who caused you this pain. Let me crush he or she with my bare hands. <laughs> they called me hopeless. They said I am barren. My lord. They said I am a disgrace to your manhood. Who are they? And what business of theirs is it? My mates. Calm down, my lord. How many times have I told you not to listen to them? They are not your god. And beside, I am your husband and there is nothing anyone can do about it. How long? How long will this constant humiliation continue? How long? Hey! Jay! God of the sun! God of the sun, because you're not number one. Please give me my own child! Why have you decided to keep quiet on my case? My love. Why? My love. If it's okay, I believe the one the God of the Son will give us our own child. I am tired. It's alright, let's go. Hey! Ne, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Nili, My wife, you. how are you? I'm fine, Ne. I brought this fresh food to specially prepare something for you and my son to eat. Hey, thank you very much, Ne. Thank you. By the way, where is he? He went to check on his traps. Ah. Yes, Ne. <laughs> hey. Uh, ne, please, let me help you cook this food. Mm -mm. Let me take it inside. Mm? Mother-in-law duty calls. I'll do it by myself. Don't okay, worry. Okay. Do it, Let eh? me help you take it to the kitchen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah. Nah, mo. Mama. Oh, bim, come. Oh. Mama, mo. Take this one is for you. Hmm? The one on the fire is for your wife. This one will make you strong enough to impregnate her. Mama, not again. Wait. 
and her own will equally make her strong enough to receive it. Oh, no problem. Anyways, I like the food, Mama. It's okay. nice. Hmm. No more mouth. Right, Remember, mama. it's for you alone. Oh, all right, Mama. Uh, I'll bring her own. Okay, Mama. I'm bringing it. All right, Mama. Me that your poison wasn't strong enough. I emptied everything. She ate and even licked the plates. Ah, ah. Something is wrong somewhere with mine. Then you better find out whatever that rubbish is. Else you return my tuba, Sophia. Do not raise your voice at the rock of the gods. Oh, please spare me. Oracle of the gods that cannot even kill a mere mortal. Anyway, I shouldn't be wasting my precious time with you. I know what to do. Whatever brought you from a cork kingdom to this village must be very, very serious. It is very, very serious. In fact, my whole life depends on it. Great one, please. I want you to help me and kill my daughter-in-law. Yes! It's unfortunate that both of us bear Ada the same name. I kill anything killable. I will give you something. Ensure that she drinks it. Convince her that it will help her get pregnant. Mm -hmm. She will take it morning and night. Mm -hmm. For 10 days, she will die slowly. Hey! 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 Mm. <laughs> On the 10th day, she will die. Um. Thank you, Great One. This is exactly what I did there. Thank you! <laughs> Exactly what I need. Ophobi, why the look on your face? My friend, something just crossed my mind. What is it? It's been eight years now I got married to Izzy. I knew ten years. And yet, after 10 years, there is no child to show for this marriage. Yes. Ophobi, my friend, can we just stop talking about this childbearing issue and concentrate on hunting animals for our families to feed with? Families? Yes. Oh, yes. You can say that about me, but not you. Who are you going to feed? Is it Adora or yourself? See, uh, my friend, I'm not saying you leave Adora for any other woman. You can still be married to her and still get married to someone else. 
Just talk with her to allow you to get married to another woman. Someone like Ikenwa who can bear you children. Ophobi. This discussion is crossing the boundary. What is wrong with you and what is wrong with everyone in this land? Huh? You continue this hunting on alone. I'm done hunting. That's what you do. That's what I do. Run! Come and face the challenges, my friend! I love you too, my husband. What is it? What is the problem? I don't know why people wouldn't mind your business and leave others to leave. My husband, what happened? Please talk to me. Listen carefully. Don't let anyone deceive you into doing anything. I love you. That is the reason I married you in the first place. And I will never marry anyone else. Yes, my husband. Until our ancestors bless us. I love it to my husband. Me too. It's okay. Let's go inside. You'll be fine. Yes, I'm fine. Uh -huh, no. You sent for me. Yes, I did. Oh? Um, I have something for you. Okay. Wait, I'm coming. Okay. I got this for you. Oh, take it. Ah, mm. uh, uh, why that look on your face? Eh? See, there is nothing to be afraid of. Okay, let me tell you. Do you know when I was married into your father-in-law's compound? That is my husband. Mm? I used this, and before you knew it, Alam, I was already pregnant with your husband, Obina. So it will help you. Oh, mm. but me. It's the gods that gives children, not those herbs. No, it is not just ordinary herbs. This is a combination of different fruits and it's to, to make you strong. Eh? Listen, this will help protect whatever your husband deposits in there. It's very good, okay? Um, it is not for men, no. It is only for women. So do not allow your husband to even test it. Do you hear me? Okay, no. don't make that mistake. Thank you. Uh -huh. You can go. Oh, Thank don't you. worry. Very soon you will bear your own children, just like I bore your husband. Oh, okay. all right. Now, Bo. Mm -hmm. We keep the.
What is this? Uh, um, Nick gave it to me. She said it's pre-pregnancy herbs. Oh, I see. Mm. Um, where are you going to this early? Um, I'm going to say to the G. He asked me to come to his palace this morning. Mm. Yes. Hope there is no problem. I guess there is no problem. I'll be back very soon. Okay, right? my husband. Be careful yourself. Okay. Mm. Mm. Go well. All right, dear. You'll you be all right, all right? Please, please, I want you to do it. Marry another woman, Biko. Oh. My time, I cannot. Mm. All right, I cannot. Mm. You will be fine, I promise. Come on, Mary. Come on, me, come on, me, boy. My lord, are you alright? Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Somebody help! She's carrying the hero of our time. She, she she's what? I don't I don't understand. Take her home. Make sure she gets enough rest. And let her bait and drink this. She's pregnant with your child. She's what? How? I'm pregnant? Yes. How? No. No. It's not possible. How? The gods have answered your prayers, I guess. You have been blessed beyond imagination. Go home and rejoice. This is the least of the wonders of the many gods we worship. I know. If she says you're pregnant, I believe her absolutely. I mean, she's the best midwife the land has ever known. We need to go home and rejoice. Thanks to the gods of the rain. No! Thanks to the gods of the sun! Alright. They, they have blessed me! The gods of the sun. You're pregnant! You're pregnant! You're pregnant! That was how you came about. After all the humiliation that your mother suffered because of her consistency in the worship of the god of the sun. Father, I still do not see the link between this litany and why I should not save my people from do -watcher. There's a lot, son. Just few days after you were born, the do people attacked us and killed my mother and many others with approval from SAG, the eldest man in the community. I mobilized youths and avenged our loved ones. The victory of that battle was what gave me the throne. Father, you still haven't made any points. You are still reciting past events. What exactly is your point? My point, son, is that the war took away everything from me. Your mother pledged her life to the God of the Son for my life. At the war, we had lost so many warriors, including my best friend, Ophobi. I was about to be stricken by Durocha warlord. 
when a flash of light came from nowhere and invigorated me. That was how we got the victory. I still do not understand why mortals are so in love with rhetoric. Father, what exactly is your point? Son, my point is that that flash of light was the God of the sun who gave me back my life and took away your mother's. According to her vow to him, she died in my arms one year after you were born. After returning from dedicating you to Anyamu Shrine, she made me to swear never to allow you to go to war. I saw you do this. Duty calls. You know the king has finally declared war. Very soon, your hero will be the heir of It will come sooner than you expected. Ago, how are you sure about this your theory of the leader of the war becoming the king afterwards? It is not a theory. It is a known fact. Even Elder Uwa confirmed to me that the king became king after he led the last war. Then what happens to Onowu? What becomes of him afterwards? Onowu's position has nothing to do with the kingship. Meanwhile, why are you asking all these questions? Have you started again? Please don't start. Please. Have you heard that Mazuba was attacked by the Dulu Chawaret? My prince, you don't have to feel the way you do. It is the duty of every parent to take care of their offsprings, especially when you are the only child, and the prince for that matter. He should know that no mortar can harm me. But he doesn't. You are the one that knows that the only thing that he knows and sees is that you are his son. You just have to try and convince him. How can I convince him when no occasion has risen? This is my best opportunity. My love, remember we are talking about warfare here. It won't be easy for him to budge. I have made up my mind to go for that meeting. I must go and convince them. Yes, conviction is the word. My, my prince, my friend, wait. After so much deliberations and personal considerations, I have decided that I can't allow our people to be subjected to slavery just like Durota people did to our forefathers never here is my decision since they want war war they shall get yes, yes. our forefathers bought our freedom with their services we further consolidated it with our victory at first war if we win them in this war we shall inherit them and they will serve us just like our forefathers slaves for them I have trust in us. So go home and prepare for war. Ago, okay. alert Ned for the fortification exercise and organize more warriors to keep vigil at all the strategic corners of this community. May your days be long, my king. As it is, every man will go to war, old or young, except for our women and children. Even me, as the king, I will go to war. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, it's against our tradition yes. for a king to go to war. Yes. Eh? Hey, we have brave warriors. Agu is here. Yes. Eh, they can defend this land. Remember? I have made my decision. Your Majesty, there is wisdom in what you know have just said. 
if anything should happen to your majesty, the trouble of managing the affairs of this palace will be enormous before a new king could be crowned. Let's just be getting ready first. Let's go get ready for the war. Father, what exactly is the cause of this constant harassment and war? Our forefathers worked as slaves to the people of Durocha in exchange for the land we occupy today, even our farmlands. So you mean the debt has been paid? Exactly, son. The debt was paid a long time ago by their slavery as agreed by both parties. The number of years agreed elapsed and this was honored by their past kings. So what exactly is their problem since this debt was long paid? Greed. Evident greed. The father of the present king was habitually greedy and violent, which is what the present king inherited from him. But he will not get away with the mother of today. He will surely pay for it. We must not sell ourselves to the people of Durocha again. What are you talking about, son? I hear their wishes from afar. What do they wish? That we, the people of Ekogo, will remain their servants forever. They have gone to Otanando the Great Dibia to fortify themselves. Enjoy your rest, Father. Oh no, you don't know how excited I am, knowing that you and the elders, I mean all the elders, have my best interest at heart. I am happy. <laughs> the warrior of our land. Were you thinking we were joking or something? We meant every word we said. What you are doing today is exactly what he did when he wanted to ascend the throne room. So he cannot deny another from ascending that same throne. I personally, I will not let him have his will. Not at all. Oh no! Oh no, see. I promise to remain loyal to you when I become the king. Mm. And, oh no, you will still be my mentor. Any day, any time. <laughs> yes. It's alright. I've heard you. Um, Just play your part well. I will. Mine is already taken care of. Eh? But please, make sure we don't lose this war. Ah! Oh no, how? Lose this war? Oh no, it's not possible. Oh no, you know that my war skills and strategy have never failed. It won't start now. Good. Oh no, I'll be on my way. I need to meet with some of my warriors. Mm. Um, the warlord. The gods of our land will lead you and your warriors to the war front and bring all of you back safely. You say, thank you, no. Thank you. of our land will cut off that manhood you want to use to snatch Ugochi from me. Can you imagine? Eh? And Morvia. Oh, you want to ascend the throne? Hey. Come on, I expect all of you to follow instructions as you go to join other warriors that Ago has sent to ambush out there. What is this about? I am a youth of this kingdom. And like I told you in the secret, I have the solution to the problem of this land. I forbid you going to this war. My prince, going for a war is more superior than chasing animals in the bush. You, you, don't, you don't need to go to war. My prince, that is the truth. Yes. Eh? The same sentiment that prevents women, children and elders from going to the war front is equally applicable to the royalties. Yes. 
It Stop affects it. the royalty. Yes, of course. Your father is here today. Tomorrow he will be no more. You are the one to replace him. Yeah. Should you embark on this journey, how are you singing your half? And I'm not saying they will kill you, but... Eh? Etanyang, you are not stepping out of this palace. Let alone go to the battlefield. What did you just call me? Let me tell you what Ayan Wokike says. This war must be called off. All the streets will be littered with the corpses of the young and the old. And the streams flow with their blood. Unless, of course, you let me face Durocha warriors alone. Are you normal? Oh yes, he is not normal. Because he is not mortal. <laughs> My mother told me so. He baffles me how you forgot so easily how your wife faithfully served the God of the Sun. Who decided to take away her shame and by extension the entire ECOG. The solution to this problem is in the hand of Eki Anyang, who must continue your lineage of kingship. Who will fight this fight? Who will save this land? Who will save this land from the shame? War, 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 drum of war is sounding everywhere. I can't believe that human beings can be this mischievous and crafty. I still find it difficult that our Igwe, His Royal Majesty, is conniving with the priestess to deceive us. This is unimaginable. Do you imagine? <sighs> oh no, you know I sensed it. I sensed it from the moment I saw the prince gapped for war. And the Igwe was busy talking rubbish. Doing one thing I don't understand. Agon, you must not fold your arms and watch this game unfold itself. Yes. It is your right that they want to rob you off. Oh no. What will I do? Eh? You are asking me? Yes. No, jump into my stomach so that I'll give birth to you. What do I do? Rubbish. Oh no. I was actually coming to your house. Have you heard what's going on? That the prince has called off the war and that he alone will go fight the Duracha people. And
Can't you see I am so much in love with you? I am human! They are ready and well prepared. They can swallow every living soul in the Kobo kingdom. Warriors of Duracha, I greet you all. Come, listen to me, you all. The recovery of our farmland and the land the Kobo occupies lies on your scale at the war front today. Be brave and courageous. There's nothing wrong if you die on your father's land. But I trust in your strength. Go into Ekogo. Kill all the maggot warriors of Ekogo. And when you're done, go into the village. Bring me all the beautiful maidens. I is it today, baby? Fifth have spoken. Of the watcher are stepping forward to our land. I think they are, they are ready for war. I think they are ready for war. Father, you have heard, but do not worry yourself. Anya Wokike will see us through. My prince, my prince, my prince, Egon should tell you that a man and your betrothed have kidnapped. What? Where? By who? I can know where are you running to? Is this how you intend to save the community? By abandoning them at the peak of war to run after a woman? That! Go and get Argo for me. Tell him to come here immediately. What brings you to our land on a day like this? Ikedigba, I know you're a warlord and you know the rudiments of warfare. I need to see your king. I have a proposal for him. Mm. 
Good. What kind of proposal on a day like this? You're not the king, are you? Take me to your king, or we'll proceed with the war as planned. Agu, don't open your mouth anyhow because you are on our land. I am sparing you because of the person you came along with. Shall we? Go ahead. Bring her. Shut up. My daughter has been kidnapped. Yes, the real war has indeed started by your daughter. Huh? My daughter, I don't understand. My son was said to confront Durocha warriors who were reported to have approached our boundaries when one of the maidens ran in to report that your daughter has been kidnapped and he abandoned his assigned duty at the peak of this crisis just to run after a woman. Ewo, how can he do a thing like that? That boy is not a warrior. Why will the gods impose him on us? Why? This is no time to apportion blame. Go and see as many warriors as you can gather. The tune of the music has changed. Arara go straight to Nindi, the priestess of Yuku. After all, she caused all this. Let me go straight to her. Young man, what did you say your mission is? My king, my name is Agu, a warlord from Mikago Kingdom. These are my loyalists. I greet you, your highness. And right here is the betrothal to the prince of Ikago Kingdom. I brought her as a gift to you just to prove my loyalty to you and to let you know that I am ready to swear an oath to fight alongside with your warriors. And what will be your prize for this noble art? That when you bring Ikago to its knees, you make me the king and I will forever remain loyal to you. Young man, I am smarter than you. I can see. You are a spy. But don't worry. Don't worry. I know how to deal with spies. My king, I am not a spy. Some of the elders and I thought about it. And we came to the conclusion that it's better for us to make peace with you. Instead of this everyday battle. We are ready to be your slaves. Mm. Young man. I can never be deceived. I can never be deceived with this your flippancy. I am not your weak king, Obina. Take them. Lock them up. Put them in the palace cell. My king, I am telling you the truth. I swear by the gods of Dorocha Kingdom, I am not a spy. My king, please. There is sincerity in his voice. Sending him to cell only aggrieve the gods. That you did not appreciate the gift they offered to you. Mm, I lose it. Okay. Take this beautiful girl to my own chamber. Mm. Take her to my own chamber. And these ones, take them alongside and fight with them. Mm. But keep your eyes closed on them. Give them their weapons. I make sure you go with other warriors. Take them! Oh, <laughs> 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 Young 
you will have to leave now. I'll go bring her. Do you know where she is? Is she okay? Can you save her? Should I? You ask too many questions. Just go. Why was the place running like that? Oh, no, I was kidnapped. Shut up! I think they are men. Just keep life. quiet! What are you talking about? Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes. I'm sure. I was lucky I brushed to pick up something before they came out from their hiding, marking their faces, so I hid as they dragged her off. And my problem is, I don't even know where Agu is. I've been looking for him since yesterday. What's going on? Maybe he has gone for the war. I heard the water warriors and they are way already. Oh. Let me go check on Walaka. Okay. And what is amusing you fools? And you traitor, Argo. So, this is what this is all about. Quiet! Baby Prince. No one will take the glory of that land all alone. Your father has sat on the right of people for too long. And I think it's about time we set things straight. And as for your lover. <laughs> I am very sure by now the king of Durocha will feast on her. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Lover Boy, I thought I would spare your life because your betrothed has been offered to us as a gift and for being disrespectful and spiteful to the people of Dorosha and its warrior and stepping into our soil with this affront. <laughs> you have to no! You lie! You renegade! I shall feed your flesh and blood to the beast of the earth. <laughs> now let me show you why I was made the reward of these great, most dreaded warriors. warriors. Young man, as 
my evil. As my evil from the ghost. No. No. Our gods cannot fail us. No. Where is Otanandu? Otanandu! Otanandu! Hey, listen to me, young lady. I prefer it gentle and easy. But I love it rough. But if it prove to be stubborn, I will enjoy it alone. <laughs> no, 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 please, I beg you. I beg you, please, don't do this. I beg you, in the name of your gods, please. Please beg you, please. Don't, 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 don't do this, please. Will you dare to spare your legs? Open your legs, I don't have patience! Come here! Spare your legs! Spare your legs! Father, I have fulfilled my purpose on earth and have restored permanent peace to my people. You have indeed wiped away our sorrows. I am sorry I couldn't recognize you earlier. Thank the gods for sending the savior of our people through my loins. Long live the crown prince of Ekogo Kingdom. <laughs> Behold your warlord. You should tell them what you did. Don't touch him. The gods have decided their fate. My daughter! Hey! Take him to the palace cell. Immediately. Move it, move it, move it. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. My people. In the next four market days, Ek Anyangu here will be decorated as the Crown Prince of Ekogo Kingdom. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for bringing peace to our kingdom. Now I understand you better. I now know that you are mortal and also a gift from the God. My queen. Slave from the shame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 